Hey everybody, welcome back to Flying Miata. This is Kyle. And we're going to continue work on our 2018 V8 Miata. In today's episode, we are going to cover suspension, brakes, wheels, and tires. All right, on our ND V8s, we use a Fox suspension. It is the premium kit that we offer. We offer it for both the V8s and the four cylinders. We can, you can see it here. We have the front guy here and the rear. Not only does it look good, but it functions really well. We love the ride quality that it offers. Far better than stock, in my opinion. Um, it also has a ride, wide range of adjustability, both in ride height and in damping. So you can see here, we are using IBOX springs. We have 12 inch main springs on the rear, 10 inch main springs on the front. We also use a helper to take up the slack. Um, we have these adjusted about where they would be as they go into the car. That way they require very little adjustment after they're installed. You can see we have adjustment knobs on the top that are relatively easy to get to in the car. And uh, they're very easy to install. So we'll go ahead and get those put in now. All right, and now we're moving on to brakes. Here is our big Mama Jamma brake kit. Come take a look. This thing is huge. On the front, we have six piston Willwood calipers that wrap around a two-piece vented and slotted rotor that's 12.88 inches in diameter. Onto the rear, we are using our four piston caliper that has the park brake arms and that's gonna wrap around the stock disc in the, in the back. You can see they're preloaded with their pads that have a lot more surface area than stock. So they're gonna give better performance, better cooling as necessary with this car that's probably gonna be subjected to some high performance driving. And let's go ahead and kind of get a few uh, visual of the size difference, see if I can that's quite an improvement there.
All right, one of the problems we will run into when we run a big wheel and tire package is this brake line. The tire will be able to run into it under full compression. So we're gonna go ahead and relocate this so it's safe to run a large wheel and tire package. Okay, now that we got the brake line relocated, we have to also make a little bit of room by flattening this bracket down, as well as clearancing up toward the top of the shock tower, uh, just to give, again, more room for the big wheels and tires. All right, now we're on to wheels and tires. We'll go ahead and start with the tires. Our choice of tire for the ND V8s is the Bridgestone Potenza RE71R. We're using a 245-40 R17, and we're gonna wrap that around a 17 by nine inch wheel with a 45 millimeter offset. In this case, it's 949 6UL wheel. It's the Beryllium LE, the LE is the machined lip with the beryllium center. All right, we use this combo because it's lightweight, attractive, and we specifically use this tire because it is an excellent street and track tire. It has a 200 tread wear rating, so it's plenty sticky, um, but does have a uh, good tread for the street as well. It's an excellent package for these cars. Um, in this case, because this is a 2018 plus, it uh, does have the tire pressure monitors so we are going to, instead of transferring over from the old tires, we're gonna go ahead and throw new ones in there, um, but they could be transferred if, if that was your choice. Hey everybody, now you can see our assembly is complete. We have the 949 wheel covering our wheel wood brakes. As you can see, there's plenty of caliper clearance. And peeking in the back there, you can see our Fox suspension. We're getting ready to lower it down and set the ride height and corner weight this thing. Thanks everybody for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed what you've seen so far. Stay tuned next time as we're gonna cover some of the more intricate details in, within the build. Um, little things that kind of complete the job. And uh, hopefully after that, we're to the point of startup, dyno run, street driving, all the fun stuff. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.